You know, last Congress, I led legislation to streamline the hydropower licensing process. It takes a, uh, on average 10 years to relicense a dam right now in America compared to 18 months for natural gas. In your view, how does hydropower fit into the bigger picture? And what are we risking with proposals such as the Green New Deal that ignore the positive environmental benefits of hydropower? First, thank you, Representative McMorris Rogers, for your leadership on hydropower and preserving and expanding this very important uh, resource. As you know, historically, hydropower has been the most important of our renewable resources in the United States, and it is appropriately viewed as a renewable uh, energy resource right alongside wind and solar and biomass and geothermal, the other renewable resources. Uh, in many ways, it's the most valuable uh, renewable resource for three reasons. First, it has the highest capacity factor of the renewable resources, so it's available for more of the year. Second, it's a flexible resource. It can be turned on and off and ramped up and down in a way that many other renewable resources cannot be. And third, it can also be part of a storage solution. So pumped hydropower can serve as a, you know, vast batteries for the grid. In fact, the very largest storage facilities in the United States are pumped storage hydro facilities. Um, so we see uh, expansion of hydropower either by powering up uh, non-powered dams or certainly ensuring that our existing hydropower facilities around the country are relicensed so that we can continue to get good use out of them and modernizing those facilities as key priorities in the clean energy portfolio. What do you think Congress could do to expand hydropower production in the United States and why do you think that that should be a part or a central part of a climate-focused policy? It, it needs, so it needs to be a central part of a, of a climate-focused policy. Um, as Chairman Tonko said, we, at this point, the climate challenge is too urgent to leave any of our uh, tools off the table, and so certainly the largest renewable resource can't be left out of that solution. The idea that we would depower all of that hydropower, which I believe powers between six and eight percent of our power grid right now, and replace it with new power, that, you know, the billions of wasted dollars that would be spent in doing something like that would be very counterproductive to a climate solution. It would certainly not be a cost-effective uh, way to um, advance climate policy.